So Herodotus is to the Persian War kind of as Thucydides is to the Peloponnesian War. In other words, the most direct account we have of this conflict between Athens and all of her allies and Sparta and all of her allies comes from a guy by the name of Thucydides. And you'll see that for readings that you have to do for class. I've got a bit of a background on both Herodotus and Thucydides, and one of the guiding questions is, how would who this person is shape what it is they write? Thucydides is somebody who lives through the Peloponnesian Wars. He is eventually a politician and an Athenian general, so he's coming from Athens. He has a clear perspective on the wars. He's eventually ostracized because he's seen as a threat to Athens, and it's while he is exiled that he is able to afford himself some time to write and reflect on the wars themselves and also kind of why he should write about them. And so what I really want you to think about is both you read the funeral oration and the background on Thucydides and also what I've got up on the board here is what Thucydides' approach is and how it builds off of Herodotus and why he says what he's writing about is way more important than Herodotus, what Herodotus does, right? So he says, the state of Greece from the earliest times to the commencement of the Peloponnesian War, Thucydides an Athenian. So right off the bat, he's telling you who, who he is, right? Herodotus of Halicarnassus. You know he's from Halicarnassus. You recognize that he's Greek, but he knows Persia. Thucydides, he's an Athenian. He wrote of the history of the war between the Peloponnesians and the Athenians, between the Spartans and the Athenians, beginning at the moment it broke out. That's kind of shit talking to Herodotus, who goes back thousands of years. He's saying, I can't know all that stuff. What I can know is what's in front of me, so I'm going to start when this war broke out. Why is he writing? He believes that it would be a great war and more worthy of relation of any that preceded it. Again, take that, Herodotus, is kind of the point that's going on. And then he backs it up. His belief isn't without its grounds. Um, both Sparta and Athens had been prepared, right? Um, everybody in Greece was taking sides in this quarrel. It is the greatest moment yet known in history, not only in Greece, but in the entire part of the barbarian world. By the way, here's some fun Jeopardy knowledge for you. In different languages, animals say different things, right? So in, in the United States, a dog might say bow wow or woof woof. In Germany, a dog says bow wow. And if you speak another language, you might think about how that goes. Um, in Greek, birds don't say chirp, chirp, chirp. They say bar, 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 bar. So anybody who didn't speak Greek was a barbarian. So he's saying that this is the most important thing that happened not only in Greece, but in the entire world. And he really digs into that. So one of the things we'll see, well, actually, no, let's save this for the next slide. I'm going to put these two side by side. And I want to spend a little time comparing them. Um, and then at the very end, I'll end with a little cartoon that's probably going to make me laugh a little bit more than you.